this year's hair trends are bigger and bolder than ever. And as usual, they have some pretty strange names. So here to help us decipher these trends, our resident hair guru, Jason Lee, in the house. I love playing this game with you. It's gonna be so much fun. Okay, so what are we gonna do today? All right, so first of all, Trace, uh, it's true. The 2023 hair trends are coming in hot. Yeah. And I gotta say, the names, the looks, the techniques, they're wilder than they've been over the last couple of years. Okay. So I would say it's a very welcomed, uh, you know, breath of fresh air, or as we say, a breath of fresh hair. Oh, um, <laughs> we see what you did there. I just did that. And um, <laughs> I'd say that, you know, obviously I'm gonna come in and share all the latest hair techniques and all the latest trends, but we don't wanna just sit here and blab about hair trends. We wanna yeah. have a fun, multiple choice game okay. where you and the audience and everybody at home can try to figure out the name of the hair trend. Okay, let's do it. All are right. you ready? Are you, do you have my back this time? You kind of <laughs> left me, okay, good. Very good. Trend number one. All right, so take a look at this haircut here. This is the look number one. Now, it's obviously very dramatic and very mm. fashion forward, but this is a trend that's happening. I told you, things are changing, right? Yes. So what do you think the name of this haircut is? Is it A, the staircase chop? Okay. Is it B, the jellyfish haircut? Mm -hmm. Is it C, the double cut? Mm -hmm. Or is it D, the bi-level bob? C, I'm hearing C and D, so I'm gonna go with C. So that's not right. <laughs> <laughs> this is called the jellyfish haircut. It's actually called the jellyfish? Out of all the ones I thought for sure not that. So what's fascinating about this, it's this very disconnected haircut where you see these very strong lines by the cheekbone. And if yeah. you take a look at the photo, it looks like the silhouette of a jellyfish. It does. Yeah, it Hence does. Oh my gosh. Okay, moving right, right along. Moving the on. Trend I'm telling you, these two. are wild. It's, I like it's, that. it's surprising. Go into your salon and ask for a jellyfish. Jellyfish haircut. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so look number two. They're, they're, they cannot believe that, right? Yes, <laughs> they're freaking out. They're freaking out. Look number two, this is about the hair color, okay? Okay. So what is, this is like one of the biggest trends right now. What do you think this is called? Is it A, mm. the bling bling brunette? Okay. Is it B, money honey brown? Ooh, I like that. Is it C, expensive brunette? She's expensive. She is. Yeah. Is it D, bombshell brown? Is she a bombshell? She... What? <laughs> Uh, all I know is they are playing this to hey, win. Hey, BB! <laughs> you guys are all wrong. Hey, <laughs> What is it's, it? It's expensive brunette. Oh. It's C! Yes. The one we didn't pick! We love this because here's like the thing. I like it too. Blondes forever have been the expensive ones, right? right? And now brunettes, as opposed to it just being a solid tone, yeah. it's been adding a lot of dimension, highlights, and balayage oh. to the look. And that's what makes it expensive. So you want the shiny, glossy, beautiful brunette. Yeah, they're like, we're not cheap. We're not Come cheap, on. we're expensive now. We're expensive. Okay, next right. trend. Look number three. So this is a, this is a do-it-yourself look that people have been doing at home. Is it hair slugging? Okay. Is it B, oil socking? <laughs> is it C, hair <laughs> snailing? Okay. Or is it D, oil wrapping? I think it's D. I think it's D. We're go like, let's do D, let's do oil wrapping. So it's, it's a really good thing that I came here today because none of these are right. <laughs> <laughs> it's A, it's hair slugging. It's hair slugging? So that sounds gross. It is, and the, the thing is it came from like face or skin slugging where people are loading up like the moisturizers oh. overnight and it looks like a slug. Anyways, it's kind of yeah. gross. But I will say that um, it's the idea of putting a lot of oils into the hair and sleeping with it overnight. You put a sock over it so it doesn't get all over the place. But yes. you know, South Asian women have been doing this for centuries and we're just catching up. And that's why a lot of South Asian women have such beautiful hair. Got it. Yes. Well, it can't go wrong. It's I think the wrong. more moisture you add, the better, especially right. like 4C hair. That's right. Put the exactly. moisture on it, right? That's right. That's okay, right. what's your last one? All right, the last one. This haircut is popular for very long layered hairstyles. Okay. What is it called? Is it called a curved cut? Is it B, sorry, B, uh, the bounce haircut? Uh -huh. Is it C, the roundabout cut? Or okay. is it D, the U-shaped haircut? You say B, the bounce? Okay, fine, B. I don't agree that it's I B. I think they're but calling I'm... it D. Are you guys saying D? Are you D? saying D? I can't hear. So they're congratulations. It is D, the U-shaped haircut. <laughs> And what's fresh about this is that it's not just a blunt haircut that we're yeah. going back to the rounded. 
everything is going back to the 90s, and yes. that's what this is. And you're excited about this time in hair, aren't you? I love the 90s. That's when I started learning hair. So Thank it's you. coming all back. It was all those good tools times. are coming back. It really was. Beautiful. <laughs> okay, that was fun. You did very well.